in the nightcap inside Stetson's Edmonds Arena. Bucks taking on the Hatters, and uh, well, a new Hatters team with a new coaching staff, and uh, well, a couple of new wrinkles to their lineup. They're a hot shooting team, and the Bucks will have to try to get up early. They did just that as they put together an early offensive run. This is Sheldon Cooley on the wing, knocking down a shot, but wound up scoring just six points in the game. Marcus DeBose would go on to double figures, nine first half points for him as he goes up with a nice finger roll layup on a fast break. However, Stetson able to capitalize on a few turnovers. That ball knocked away by Joel Narbergs. And on the other end, Chris Perez with a three. And that forces ETSU into a timeout as Stetson is able to get back into this thing and then grab control of the first half. Isaiah Brown, though, strong all first half and then still in the second half here as he puts down a couple of buckets. He'd go on to lead the team with 20 points, but Joel Narbergs matched him almost 15 on five made threes for Narbergs. That was a huge one for Stetson. Adam Salazzo getting into the act late, trying to make something happen with drives to the hoop. And then the big hoop to Isaiah Brown. Salazzo with one of his six assists to go with 13 points. Nice between the leg dribble and slices through to the ace on logo there. Trying to find inventive ways to the rim, but Stetson just kept on scoring. Isaiah Brown with another nice two-handed stuff there. And then Salazzo with one last ditch move up to the rim. And too little too late, unfortunately, for the Bucks. This one with about a minute and a half left in the game as Coach Bartow calls a timeout. But if you watch the Hatters able to break the tough full court press and an easy lay in for Perez on the other end, that pretty much seals the deal. Marcus DeBose, a last ditch three, but a big rebound grab by Adam Pegg as the Hatters out rebound the Bucks 45 to 28. And that is one of the main storylines in the 73 to 65 win for the Hatters as they will move to 1-0 in conference play. From DeLand, Florida, for the Buccaneer Sports Network, John Stevens.